it's uh is it tasty and it goes on my steak wow all right uh where is my doodad and here 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 oh oh we're not sorry not not actually capturing hold on Kevy booby <laughs> There you go. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going. All aboard, Captain. Oh, hey, hey that was actually not a terrible a Squidward right there. Shoot. SpongeBob. Why in the world would I want to go jellyfishing? I, I almost have the full cast. I can't do a good SpongeBob. I don't think anyone can. If I could, man, I'd, I'd have a sweet gig at Nickelodeon. All I, that's all I can say. I think anyone can do Patrick if they if they really try, if they really think about it. I think Krusty Krabs is um he's he's a tricky one. Have I been here before? Yo, Irish cream. This is a fast starting stream. Did Bimple pour some Irish cream in his coffee? Some days I just, uh, I don't feel like waiting. You know, like, um, the, you know what, actually, there's a good, there's a very good reason why I wait and do the, the, you know what, I'm glad you said something, uh, Kevbo. Someone's gonna ask, did you just do the, the intro out of spite? Was that a spite, like, start? Uh, the answer is no. There's a, there's actually a practical purpose for why I do the, um, why I, I do that, why I have an intro. It's because... Massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Okay. It's, uh, because I, I use that time to, um, tweet about my stream as if anyone cares no, I shouldn't I shouldn't say that there's certain uh, accepted levels of deprecation self-deprecation and uh, you know a line can be crossed yay spoopy you found the big secret there's land in this ocean survival game whoa bulbo tree oh we scan it Hey, I'm a ten. Hello, RGB. Yo, it's my it's my boy, the Bulbo Tree. Back at it again at the Bulbo Tree. I like uh, I appreciate Kevbo the the kind of the false enthusiasm. It almost reads like genuine enthusiasm. Yo, there's land in this game. Yo, crab lad. Excuse me. Crab lad, jump. Get back here. I'm I'm a I'm a knife this lad. Hold on. I don't really have a lot of room. Ouch! Hey, yo, my dude. Ouch! I'm a laser you. 
Let me get my knife out. You just stand still while I get my knife. Come here. Ah. Ah. It's weird how it exploded into sulfur. That's a very stra a strange crab. Hit the bulbo tree with your knife. Okay. I will listen to the Kevbo. Inventory full. A strange thing happens, Kevbo, where it says my inventory is full. Let me drink some water. I... The, I will say, the interface in this game could use some work. Because <laughs> sometimes, I swear to God, right-click is con uh, contextual. Sometimes it means drink, and sometimes it means drop. I feel like that is... Maybe I'm imagining that. I'm willing to believe that that's not true. Also, I really just wish that escape would exit. What do you mean the ex... Oh my god. Uh, it's not gonna happen. What do I get from it? When I first played Subnautica, I was popping my pants, pooping my pants over the fact that there was land in it. It's definitely a well-kept secret. I, I've never, I, I haven't watched people play this game. And uh, I didn't know that there was in fact land. This isn't where I'm supposed to be, right? Is it? Oh, that's the land landing site. Okay, so I wanna check this out first. Yo. Should really go back to your base and drop off a lot of stuff and yeah, Below Zero has a lot of QLL updates. Bubble tree samples are four spaces but they are really good for food, water, okay. Do I wanna do this now or is this something I wanna come back to later? It seems to me there's nothing really to do here or am I wrong about that? Like, I'm not really seeing anything I can interact with. Maybe I can go over here. Don't explore too much with an inventory full of... Okay, that sounds like danger. Gotcha. So... What about over here? Can I go over here? There's another crab lad. It is time to crab. Oh my my boy, you about to get knifed. Go back to the sea, pony boy. Hmm. Hey, Andrino. Welcome back, Andy. Andy Rhino. Andy gets shadow banned, Rhino. What do we got over here? Pink cap. Inventory is full. This isn't where I, I need to be, right? So this is just something to... to semi-discover while I'm waiting for the uh, thing to land. Ooh, spoopy cave. Crab cave. Oh, that's salt. I got excited over nothing. Yo, there's a lot of stuff here. The fact that Bimple is just wandering around with an inventory full of crafting resources driving me insane here. That's fair. Oh, did the, the tablet take up space? Ancient a alien tablet with purple symbol. All right, let me drink some more water. You're not wrong. I really shouldn't be doing this. But, okay, let me ask you a question, Kevbo. Um, that, uh, that little icon there that says landing site, is that going to stick around? Like, is that in my, um, list of, like, quotation marks, bimples? Or, not bimples, beacons? What the f Can't believe YouTube cancelled Andrino. I know, right? So there's a bunch of stuff in there, but I don't necessarily want to do more exploring. There is lots of, lots on this island, not just cosmetic storyline content stuff. 
No, I, I figured. I mean, I am seeing resources as well. But I, I have an inventory full of junk. My dude, Crab, you better stay the heck away from me. Is that lithium right there? That is lithium. Ow! Listen! If you don't want to get knifed, don't touch me. I know this is not the way back. I'm just kind of interested. Yeah, I, I really do want to explore this place. This is a place full of fun stuff to uh, explore. Would he have enough time to go back go and come back? Those tablets are very important. And uh, yes, the landing icon will be there until the sunbeam lands down. Uh, well, mm, see, that's not really what I was asking. It seems when the thing lands down, will I get to keep that beacon? Right now, I can't make beacons for some reason unless I like figure out how to do that. And I would really like to be able to keep that specific beacon in my beacon manager. It looks like no. It looks like, no, that is not the case. It looks like, oh, I'm lost, aren't I? Intake recommended. Or am I? Okay, I think this is the right way. What is that? Oh, it's a little friend. I believe this is the correct way. My my battery's almost dead. Do I have food on me? No, I, I don't have food on me. Um, yikes forever. <laughs> I really need to put that in my head. As long as Big is back by his drop pod when there's five minutes left on the timer, he can come back here with plenty of time for the event. Okay, so what I'm hearing from chat, like no one wants to see me sit here for half an hour. Is what I'm hearing. Oh, is this a door? No. So, um, y'all want me to go and come back. Just make sure I'm here in time. Because there's something cool that will happen when I'm here at the time. The designated, designated time. Don't miss it. Better not miss it. It's, it's very important. But also don't explore. Also, you have a full full inventory. Lots of things are happening at the same time. And there's lots of cool stuff here to explore. Is there something cool here? Or no? I'm almost out of power. There seems to be light. Also, I really feel like if a planet was that close or that big, then, um, you know, you, you just kind of like... I don't know how to put it. I feel like this planet would not exist. It would not be okay. Or it would have an absurdly strong tidal force. You can totally explore the caves. I don't know if it'll, that'll take 25 minutes, but there's stuff in there. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. I gotcha. What is that? That looks important. Oh, is that just one of those ore deposits? Game ends in 27 minutes. That's not true. Don't lie. What was that? I saw something over there. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. <laughs> Maybe it's partially the sound it makes. When I fly into a fish, it's just like... <laughs> It's just really funny. I don't mean to do it. I think that's why also it's funny to me is I don't ever mean to fly in and swim into a, uh, you know, into a, a, a fish. So when it happens, it's just really funny. <laughs> Can't wait for Bimple to go east of the island. Oh. Yeah, I definitely had a lot of time. Um, let me... I'm gonna go get some food. Oh, my inventory's full. Right. I'm a dang fool. Welcome to 
Okay. Let's uh, drop off some lithium. I don't need the lithium. Don't. I guess I should carry the batteries, but I don't know. Definitely don't need the diamonds. Big committed vehicular <laughs> fish slaughter. You might want to go try. You might want to try to go check out some more of the other drop pods in the next twenty-ish minutes. That's a big ask. Starvation imminent. Starvation imminent. Okay, my dude. This is life pod four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay, that's um, <clears throat> we're we got we we're, we're being at demanded of a lot of things right now. And uh, so we got to go. We got to go check out that thing that we just got. Can I cook this lad? Oh, that was two lads actually. I don't want one of those lads. Drop that lad. Um, <clears throat> we want this lad over here. Come here. Come here, lad. There we go. Um, drop all resources from for now. Big won't need them on the island, if I recall. No, I know. Uh, I don't really have enough space to drop all my resources, unfortunately. I just need some food. Bimple carrying around all those crafting resources is making my... Well, because when I stopped playing last time, um, there was, you know, I had just finished collecting a bunch of stuff. And, uh, you know, I didn't do any inventory management. <clears throat> Let me see, is there anything I can, like, condense? No, I don't think so. I could maybe make a battery. What do batteries cost again, real quick? Resources, electronics, battery. Two acid, mushroom, and a copper ore. Do I, am I, do I have any acid mushrooms in here? Nope. Okay, then never mind. Um, I still have some stuff on me, so let's... Let's see if, can I make a, let's make a thing. Equipment, no, not equipment. Uh, tools. I want to make a, um, a box. Is it just with my thing that I make a box? Hold on, where's, where's my tool? Uh, laser cutter, habitat builder. All right, let's make that. No. I, I've completely forgotten how to play this game in some ways. Um, I want to make a locker. I want to make another locker. What does that cost me? Where do I make that? Uh, scanner room. Hold on a second. Wall locker. Two titanium. We can do that for sure. Oh, there we go. That That is how we do it. Okay, cool. Um, I need two titanium. I don't ha oh, I have it on me. Perfect. That'll actually use up some of our resources. I'm going to go and make another locker, dump off the rest of our stuff, and then I'm going to check out the other pods that are marked out. Um, wall locker. We have a new thing, modification station. I should probably make that at some point, but not now. Wall locker. Oh, I see. This is not the same locker that I've been making. That's fine. Good enough. Probably I should have been making this instead. It doesn't have as much storage, but that's okay. Throw the uh, tablets in there for now. Um, I'll put in a s couple bat one battery. Just I, I don't want to lose anything. By the time Bimple crafts a container and puts his resources in it, it'll be time for the sunbeam to last. That's not true. I'm already done. You are incorrect, sir. Um, okay, so you want me to check out one of the other crash sites? I can do that. Um, beacon. So where is the new one? Is this new? Sunk to the ocean bed. Which, um, is this a new one that I, that I have? Let me just double check, um... I have no new messages. Do I have a new message? No. Okay. 
Craft another cupboard? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Life Pod 4 was the latest one. Life Pod 4? You mean, do you mean Life Pod 12? <laughs> I'm gonna go to Life Pod 12 unless you tell me no. Where is it? How come I'm not seeing it at all? What the heck? I'm not seeing any of my icons. Including the drop site. Oh, there it is. You can also see the log for all your guidance needs. Thank you. That's actually great, um, a, a great thing you've just told me. This is Life Pod 4. Oh. Close to the Aurora flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us and don't know how long will last. Oh, so it is Life Pod 4, but I don't have a, a thing for it. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. So I have to go close to the Aurora. As I recall, that's pretty dicey. Do I really want to do this now? I think the Aurora is east. Yes. LifePod 4 doesn't get a signal, and you have many of the other LifePod markers turned off. Yeah, that's because I've checked a lot of them out already. Have I not? I thought I checked out all of these. Alright, I'll check out 12, because I'm pretty sure that's the last one I got. I might be wrong about that. Also, I should repair this thing. Hold on a second. What was that I just took out? Habitat Builder. Yeah, we don't need that right now. I have to use clues. I, I don't know if I want to be doing a treasure hunt while I have 17 minutes left. On that thing, it, it just kind of makes me a little bit nervous. You have... I was just explaining why you didn't have any of them showing up. Well, no, I know, but I don't even see the... Uh, the drop-off anymore. Like, where's the drop-off point? I think I already visited that one. Yeah, I see. Kevbo's saying I already ex uh, d explored all of them. I'm sorry, I'm, all, I'm kind of all over the place right now, but that's because this time limit's giving me, like, peaked anxiety. Hold on a second. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave there it is. Sunbeam out. You can do it. I appreciate that. Um, I don't, I'm not worried about the Seamoth only having 17 charge on it because I have a power bank on me in case I run out of charge. So that's, uh, of the things to be anxious about, that is on the low end. Also, I saw that little flash again. Is that just like something popping into existence? Or like, what was that? Let's see how Bimple handles time management stress. Not well, if I'm being honest. There's lots of these lads. Can I kill, I can kill these lads, right? Once I get some kind of actual weaponry. I don't think there's anything I can do here. I'm not seeing anything I can, like, chisel open. Funny thing is, this is, like, the only time-based mission in the game. I mean, I don't hate time-based missions. And this is very lenient. I really appreciate that they're not making me, like, travel through a really dangerous habitat in order to get there. The needle nose shark has glowing pustules on him. Are you telling me some kind of clue? Is that something I've already collected? C 
sea glide. Uh, yeah, I already got that. You know what? I'll grab it just so that I don't, uh, like, check it again. I'm assuming um, some of the local creatures are um, reacting to the radiation of, uh, you know, some of the crashed stuff. What is that down there? That looks like something useful, maybe. That looks like um, the generator again. Oh, Cyclops fragment. I don't know if I've got that one. I didn't have that one, nice. Hey Faust, if y'all wanna know what true time management in a game is, play Dead Rising 1. I, I thought you were gonna say, place, um, uh, pathologic. <laughs> Seems to me that game is very heavy on time management if you actually play it properly. Well, we have the blueprint for the Cyclops. That's a that's a fairly large checkbox checked. Gotta go do go to the store. Just making sure Bimple gets those algorithm points. I appreciate that. That's that's muchly appreciated. Okay, so I have 13 minutes. I'm gonna check out the cave. Um, I don't really have a lot of food on me. Can I? I can't keep eat. I can't eat these crabs, right? I'm assuming. Is there anything around here I could eat? I could eat you. Hey, is that something there? Oh, that's the Cyclops hatch, I'm pretty sure. Nuclear reactor frag. Oh, I don't know if I've got this or not. Cut the bulbo trees, gotcha. Oh, yeah, you're right, I forgot. I, it's amazing to me I already forgot that. Trees is yummy. It, it do be leaking. Why are the textures so low? Is that something I've set? Where... Is there, like, higher resolution texture that I have turned off? Or is that really what it looked like? <clears throat> Bulbo tree not looking too good, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Consume. Okay, there's tons of stuff to find here. Did I check out that glowy thing there? Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have the tablets on me. Turns out I needed the tablets, actually. That's quite funny. Can also plant them in crop boxes. Oh, very good to know. So I'll bring back one with me. I don't have uh, crop boxes just yet. I kind of want to set up a base, but I, I still don't really know where I want to set it up. Spoilers? How is that spoilers? He left his tablets in his, their, uh, the other wetsuit. I left it in a, a lockbox at my base. So I have 10 minutes to explore this cave and uh, chip some stuff away. How much um, inventory space am I going to need? 
I don't know what what's going to happen when the, the thing safely lands, you know? When the sunbeam safely lands on the beach. Not sure what's going to happen. But, well, I need inventory space. Can I do anything with this, uh... Oh, there's a... Some glowing stuff on that guy. He doesn't look so good. Yeah. These caves can... Uh, these crabs can kind of go to hell, honestly. You know what they kind of remind me of? They, they kind of remind me of, of the Tektites from uh, Zelda. No, you won't need space? Cool. So what's, a, what's this guy's deal? Cats is making a sound. Huh? Tectites. Some good stuff here. Lots of lithium. Feel like I'm not gonna ever need lithium again. Someone in chat is now laughing hilariously. Huh? Laughing out loud, in fact. One could say lolling on the floor. I am never going to need lithium again. Ooh. Bah, 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 bah. Trying to remember the Stargate theme. Ba 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 Uh, can you scan yourself? Yeah. Self -scan Detecting the statistically significant bacteria levels. Weeks. No adverse effects detected by effects. vigilant. Be vigilant for sy effects. symptoms. Oh. Be vigilant for symptoms. Am I sick? I've got seven minutes left. Should probably head back. I've also got a full inventory now. I've got an inventory full of lithium. I think you can scan them when they are alive. He was just swimming around the water with some fish that had some suspicious glowing pustules on them. Y'all in chat are talking in a way that makes me suspish. Makes me suspish of that fish. Negative seven dollars. Uh, Big is gonna get lost and miss the event. No, I'm not. Never ever was a bad thing ever. We'll miss the event, and I'll take away his seven dollars. Bet. that back with plenty of time nothing to worry about bimple's got it all under control suspicious yo that's pretty funny all right so what do you guys want to talk about for five minutes you are in the wrong side of the island, though. No, I'm not. 
The thing is right there. <laughs> don't don't gaslight me. You can check out the water to the west side of the island. Uh I really don't want to miss the event. I think y'all are trying to make me miss the event. Or to the east? Hmm. I don't think I trust any of chat right now. I don't know what it is. Something about their tone is getting me suspicious, for sure. Yikes forever. Scorn is my new favorite war crime committed by Serbians. I love Scorn. It's getting kind of pooped on by a lot of people, but I really am, uh, appreciate it. I unfortunately had the ending spoiled for me. Um, I follow, I watch a, you know, I, I have also have a streamer that I watch. Uh, I usually fall asleep to their content. And uh, YouTube decided to autoplay um, their second part of their Scorn playthrough. And uh, I woke up very briefly, just in time, to see the exact ending of the game. I was like, oh, I didn't ask for this. There's too much to explore there. I'm definitely not moving from this spot for three more minutes. Also, guys, Tuesday, um, last this the Tuesday we just had, the stream, the last stream, I was going to tell a story... And then I got distracted, and then I didn't tell the story. Does anyone remember what I was going to say? <laughs> I, I know that's impossible. You don't know what the story... But I was saying, like, does anyone remember where that the beginning of that was? I was like, ooh, I'm going to tell my blank story. And then something happened, and I got completely distracted and never told the story. Does anyone remember? Bimple's got a bad memory for these things. You were going to tell us how much you hated anime. Was I? I don't think that's true. Um, okay, I can tell you an anime story. For the longest time, I did hate anime. When I was uh, growing, like, from my, my um, I wouldn't say my prepubescence, but my pubescence. You know, like, uh, 13 onward to in, into my late teens, I, I really did not care for anime. I found it to be really... Um, annoying like you know I, I i was annoyed by it for the same reasons i'm sure a lot of people are off put by it is it's over the toppedness you know it's are you kidding me with the doorbell right now i'll be right back Oh no, he paused. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, there's a, a, a chance I was like, I actually played with the idea of just leaving it unpaused so y'all would freak out if, <laughs> but no. Because there's a not 0% chance I might have actually missed the event. Food stuff? It was food stuff, but it's not great food stuff. Um, you're going to tell us about the time you just got back from Vietnam and this small, small town sheriff took a dislike to you and all hell broke loose. Yeah, um, yeah, first blood, huh? Um, <laughs> uh, no, so, uh, yeah, I didn't like anime for the longest time and then, uh, I, I made a friend, um, via Dungeons and Dragons. I was looking for a group. And um, I, I made a few good connections and uh, 
friend friend from this group kind of like talked me into watching a couple of anime. It was actually I'll, I'll tell you um it was actually a combination of a few things. So does it, I'm sure there are people who in chat who are familiar with the four kids one piece uh dubs. They are notoriously bad. They are notoriously bad. Like just ungodly bad. However, they did um they did a small good in this world, which was that it made they were accessible. You know, um, in Canada we have uh, we had a couple of kids. We have a couple of kid channels that are unique to us, like in the same way that like Nick Jr. and um, Cartoon Network are actually American-based channels. We have YTV. Oh, something is happening. Oh. <laughs> Uh, let me pause my story. Something is clearly... Oh, that's a gun. That's a that's a big old gun if ever I... I see. So it's gonna shoot down our friend that is about to pick us up, huh? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Oh. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Yeah, that's a big old F for sure. Are those, um... Is there anything I can collect from that? Or is that just... It's just an event. Just a, just a thing I can watch and revel in my own demise. Um, chat, I'm gonna need, like, a two-minute break here. Do you mind waiting for me to... I gotta, I gotta hit the can real quick. I'll be right back. Hold on a second. What is this? Real fast, I, I, I did that, that caught my eye. Hold on a second. Uranite, urin, uraninite crystal. I'm assuming that's the building. Highly radioactive material, okay. <laughs> Fell into the water off the edge of the caldera. You cannot salvage it. Okay. I'm gonna head back to base. I need a, I need a two minute Two minute to three minute break. All good, Bimp. We'll take your break. Um, let me finish my story and then I'll, how about that? Uh, while we're while we're going back, so um, YTV showed the four kids uh, dub of One Piece, which is like, even if you're an anime, if you hate anime, it's like extra bad. Um, it's it's really really bad. But I watched a little bit of it and I was like, well, the writing sucks. It's just like every other anime I've ever watched. But, um, I kind of like the art style, was my thoughts when I watched it as like a nine-year-old, nine to ten-year-old. Um, and, uh, and so years later when my friend was like, oh yeah, yeah, I know, like I watch a ton, like I'm a huge One Piece fan, I'm like, okay, well, sell me on it. He's like, well, why don't we just watch a bit of it? You don't have to watch a lot, you can just like, you know, the first few episodes or, you know. Uh, whatever you you were watching on TV and we did and I was like this is actually pretty good I was I was definitely into it um, because you know we were watching the subs and I'm not gonna get into the whole subs versus dubs debate but we watched the subs that's all I'm saying and I liked them. it's either crystal or of uranium or urine it's uraninium uran nan Uraninium. Uraninium. There you go. I did it. Um, so that's pretty much my story of how I got 
into you know manga slash anime. It's not a great story, but it is how. That's definitely yikes forever. Wait, is that another message? No. Okay, let me dump off some more stuff. And then, um, Chad, if you want to throw in some suggestions on, like, do I want to start building my base? And if so, where? Um, you know, that might be the next thing we do. Is that going to decompose? I should maybe I can work on a on a on a plant a planter. Anyway, I'll be right back. Two minutes tops.
Alright. Okay. Uh, starting a basic compound anywhere around your drop pod is a good idea. You can go south, southwest of your drop pod near the surface to find some very useful base building stuff. South, southwest. Is that uh, where the universal pod is? There, um, I forget what it's called, but it, 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 uh, there's like a big room. Where's my thing? There it is. I'm gonna cook some food. This guy, this pig guy in Hotline Miami sucks. Spicy take, that pig guy in Hotline Miami 2 is the best. Alright. So I'm going south-southwest. South Southwest. I assume I'm, I'm trying to get. To, I, I just I realized um, or remembered. I'm trying to get to that like weird, um, brightly colored kind of cave. Right, that has the uh, the the big pod in it. Right. Might even be down here. Oh, I don't know why I don't have the lights on. Yo, my dude, get out of here. Shoot. I think there's sulfur in there I have not collected, so let me do that. Oh, there's also quartz in here, and I do need some quartz. Lights, yep. I like the cold. I like it cold, but I guess it's normal that people like the opposite of the weather they have. Um, I feel very fortunate in uh, in Canada. We we get kind of the best of both worlds. If I had the ability to drop beacons, I would just be dropping beacons everywhere. Literally everywhere. Ouch. I think, uh, I think I need to go more south, southwest. I wish, um, I wish the pop-in was a little bit better in this game. <laughs> uh, that'll never not be funny to me. Stop it. Yo, fish. Stop smacking into my boat. Cut it out. Is that thing actually attacking my... Bit? Oh, it is, yeah. Andrew, you know that, uh, that icon? First of all, I'm amazed that it didn't get you banned. Just first of all. Second of all, um... I... It didn't register to me right away what that was. I didn't know it was like a symbol. It looked like to me another, like an emoji. But it just looks like an emoji of a very scrunched up face. Now, I, I kind of... 
didn't I semi-explore this area and I got a little bit lost in it? It's a it's a very get lostable area. Is this where I want to be? Bought Escape from Tarkov, forty three dollars. That's a that's a game I that will be recommended to me forever, and I will probably never buy it. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, is that something good? That looks like something interesting. Membrane tree. Do I want this? Can I cut this? Membrane tree seed, nice. Yeah, I almost got savage just now. How much did your bed cost? What? What a weird question. Is this the zone I'm trying to get to? I seem to recall I actually fully explored this. Oops. Didn't I fully explore this thing? I have a friend who paid about a thousand dollars on his bed and I'm afraid for his sanity. Kevbo. You are so much deeper than I meant for you to go. Okay. I'm trying to find the uh, brightly colored cave. I, I remember that that zone has a, a necessary component for me. But this, you know, this is something we can do. Um, there's no radiation, so I can grab that. Well, hold on a second. We can, uh, we can do a little bit of exploration here. Uh, I'm gonna grab my Pathfinder tool. Swap it, um, for my repair tool. And I'm gonna grab my laser cutter and swap it for my knife. Wait. Did I? I didn't grab the main. No, come on. What the heck? All right, five then. You really forcing me to use buttons, huh? We're gonna do a little bit of exploration here. Nothing in there. Scanner room fragment. No, you have not explored the Grand Reef at all. No, I know. I'm trying to find it. Oh, I've already scanned these. I've already got the scanner room, apparently. So what is this? Ruby. Thermal plant fragment. You know that it's not that hard to import a bimple character to potato? I did not know that. Tell me more. Just need a PNG matching the game style and it can be done easily. Hmm. Does this thing give oxygen? Wouldn't that be nice? I'm a little bit spooked by this area, but seems to be okay. Thirty seconds. I know I have an extra tank, I just don't want to have to swap it out. Oxygen. 
Uh, if you join Potato Discord, they have a tab on modding with a quick video showing step by step. I followed it and decided added a Pokeball item. The only flora that gives oxygen in classic Subnautica is the brain coral. Oh, the one that like poops out little bubbles. So I've already gotten this prawn uh, drill arm, right? So I don't need that. Data. There nothing to explore in here. Oh, here we go. No. Really? There's nothing in here? Huh. What VPN do you use? I just got 30 days of Molvad. Works great. Um, I don't really use an, a VPN. I have a, a, a friendo who collects the things I need, to put it very bluntly. They, they use a VPN. I can't remember which one they use. We have the thermal plant. Well, I mean, I won't say that this wasn't useful. There is good stuff here. Oh, moon pool. Oh, we just got the moon pool. So this was uh, very, very... Um, this is good. We got a lot of stuff, but I, I don't have the... Um, the grand, I haven't explored the Grand Reef still. What is this? Do we already have the thermal plant now? Yeah. And we, are, we have the thir the moon pool, so we, we're good on that front. Okay, let's head back home. Or try and find the Grand Reef, at least. What is that smoke over there? Swim to surface. Oh, there's no power. Uh, that's not it. How do I swap out the, um... The battery? Go. Welcome aboard, Captain. So what are these? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. There's some ruby there's another ruby there. Don't really need that. Okay, we don't need to be here. Let's leave. The Grand Reef is the area with all these gl glowing orbs, which you just barely got into. The place with the base building stuff is close to the surface, real close. Good to know. Thank you. Oh, I hate those things. Alright, I am uh, skimming the surface, looking for base building supplies. I really kind of don't know where I am. I'm fairly far away from uh, my, my pod. Once I have um, the, the big room then I'll start building, um, I'll start building a base. Have I looked down here at all? What is that? I stock.
indigenous life forms. Can we collect that? Do I have enough room? I do. I don't know why it doesn't let me drag to five. We got some ice dog. Um, Andrino says compass. You need to go south, west, southwest. Wow, Seth, Seth, Weiss. You gotta go south, southwest, and look up. And Andrino says, I will slap the rhino out of you, and that got shadow banned. Well, I'm, I'm kind of full on stuff, so I'm gonna head back and then we'll try again. So, am I wrong in those those guys have those postules as well? They're they're like not okay. They're not doing okay. This could be it. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have any water. How has the YouTube... How has YouTube deleted everything related to the rhino? <laughs> Do not have the postules. Really? That's confusing. Okay, I wanna do this real quick. Yo, my dude, stop slapping. Stop fish slapping my, my ship. Wait, can I just open this? Is this not openable at all? I feel like I've already explored this maybe. Oh, here we go. Mimesis did a emoji, which is also... YouTube really needs to cut it out, because, uh, like, the joke is funny and all, but also it's kind of annoying that, like, you know, half of the emojis, which are completely fine, are, are in fact, not okay. Vampire Survivor is finally 1.0. Hey, guys, I want to run an idea by you. All right? Um... This is this is gonna be bimple real talk for a moment. Um, I haven't. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be serious here. I, I I have not been happy with my quotation marks numbers. Um, like you know the, the channel's doing fine, I guess, but you know like the growth growth is painfully slow, and um, I kind of want to try and do something about it. Um, and I was thinking something I could do is change up a little bit about how I review games. And I say I, I say review, I don't review games. That's not something I do. I, this is not a review channel. And I say that because I don't want people to necessarily look at, you know, my videos and be like, oh, is this game good or not? Bimple will tell me why and why I should not purchase it. And then, I, you know, I just don't want to be put in that position. Um, is there anything in here? Okay, that was a big waste of time, maybe? Did I collect this thing? Um, oh, laser cutter. I think that this was just for the laser cutter. Which I got. Data box. Good. What is that? Propulsion cannon fragment? You want to burst in growth, then make some game tutorials. The problem with that, that's fine, um, is it's its very time uh, consumptive. And I can do that for sure, but um, I also just like to play games. And I know that's very selfish of me. I know it is. What is this? Is my inventory full? Damn it. Uh, let's um, drop these health kits. Oh, is this water? Oh, perfect. 
vital signs stabilizing. Let me just um seconds. Let me just focus for a second. Oh, battery charger. Perfect. I need one more of those. Sorry, just give me a second. I'm really hoping there's another battery charger fragment here, but I don't think so. Damn it. Okay. Well, whatever. Um I I don't mind doing tutorials. Um I have a couple of issues with it and I I want to talk about a little bit about why I I have issues with doing tutorials. Like, okay, so, you know, Kevbo has suggested that I do tutorials for Vintage Story. Here's the thing. There's already very good tutorials for Vintage Story on, on YouTube. Probably better than what I could produce. I did tutorials for Caves of Cud because I looked at Caves of Cud tutorials on YouTube and I was like, mm, this is bad. Not to throw shade at any other YouTuber, but I didn't really see any... Um, YouTube, any tutorials uh, on YouTube that I could personally find, like, get much from. Like, they were all two hours long and, you know, um, very, like, dense without actually telling someone how to play the game who had never played a traditional roguelike before. Get some air and go back. Hold on a second. You, you speak wise. Let me uh, replenish my other O2 tank. If you sell out, you're going to be so set. I'm not trying to sell out. I'm trying to find new methods of um, selling myself. That's not selling out. That's like, you know, you got to sometimes in order to make it seem like you are a valuable commodity you got to make yourself look valuable right and you got to offer something valuable to people I, and and i have no problem with that so um how do we do that i was thinking um one way is that i can offer much shorter videos for um for t like you know let's look at this game my, my let's tries basically there's nothing here Oh, wait, what is this? Is this the thing? Okay, floodlight. Um, sorry, Andrino did a long message that was not Mimi, so I gotta reveal it. So we got floodlights. Refill both tanks in your CMOS. Do a four minute video covering the basics of the games, like the roguelike requires you use WASDA, and that's it. See, you guys don't forget to like and subscribe. My coffee is, you know, Andrino, you have wise words to offer me, and I appreciate that. Um, are these things bad? I asked that last time. It was one of the reasons I didn't come down here. This vanilla Terraria series, I wonder why my numbers are low. I mean, that's borderline rude, I'm a fan, if I'm being honest. I knew, I knew the numbers were going to be bad on Terraria. That's why I didn't want to do Terraria. But I wanted to play Terraria, and I knew that some people would be interested in that. So I did it knowing that the numbers were going to be bad. Um, all right, let's, let's explore a little bit. I'm a little bit concerned about these guys, but I, I need to explore. I, I don't do all of my series knowing that they're going to do well. What is that sound? Okay, dude. Thirty seconds. Um, I'm not seeing anything useful here, if I'm being honest. I know there's something here, but I'm not seeing it just yet. Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, we're fine. 
Hey, Cullen. Are these giant crab snake eels bad? <laughs> um, so what I was thinking is like doing like three minute videos about a game that break it down um, into kind of a, a universal language. You know, I've been talking a little bit um, lately. Oh, my, my, hold on, let me, let me try and um, repair laser cutters. Is this a repair tool? Yes, it is. Let's repair real quick. Um, I kind of want to do a series that, um, for Let's Tries. Is something taking a bite out of me? Yes, it is. Hello. Warning. It's not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to repair again. Sorry. Um... React to Family Guy episode 5-8. I love you, Bimple. I think you could be... If you get lucky. Yeah, I know. It's a combination of you gotta do a lot of content, but not too much. You know, you gotta be careful. And, you know, it's not like... I'm not crying for, you know, Oh, my, my channel is doing bad. Wah. Um, it's like I'm trying to find ways of, like, how do I... How do I appease this overlord of the algorithm, you know? How does one do that? Um, so I figured like three minute videos um, showing off a game might be an idea. Um, but it's really hard to explain a game in three minutes. So something I was thinking about is, you, I, I forget what they're called, but you know, um, you know when like someone is like solving a crime and they, uh, they have a cork board with a bunch of stuff? What is that? That rock is like popping off. Um, with a whole bunch of strings attached. What is that called? Does that have a name? I'm really not finding anything down here and it's kind of a problem. Is that something? That looks like something. Give me a second, chat. I'm gonna try and pay attention to something. Oh, regress shell. That's not anything, is it? Oh, hello, friend. You gave me a spoop. Watch two videos of the Spiffin' Brit on YouTube algorithm get right rich. Why does my keyboard understand rich as rye? Doing stuff at gamers attention to, to get t gamers attention while still being bimple isn't selling out because if you don't You can make roblox stream and get I honestly was kind of considering doing some roblox stuff as a meme But also because there's some roblox content that genuinely interests me Signal location uploaded to PDA. Is there anything here? Yo, that sound really spooked me. You gotta stop. This, um... This place is kind of annoying. Because it, it's, it's very labyrinthine and I'm not finding anything. Uh, wait a minute, what? What? No, I- I hate that! It actually got me killed. I right-clicked instead of left-click, and now that my- my tank is gone. That's so annoying. The interface literally just got me killed. <sighs> That's really frustrating. There's a lot of stuff in the Jelly Shroom Caverns, but it's hard AF to explore until you have a depth module upgrade for your Seamoth. Oh my god. 
There goes all my stuff. All my stuff is gone, including the sea moth. Gotta go get the sea moth back now. Oh, that's so frustrating. So it's southwest west, right? I'm not seeing an eye. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Um. Get out of here, bud. I don't want it. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see a predator. You guys can all take off. All right, whatever. So, um, I want to do kind of like a corkboard uh, explanation of of a game, and then break it down into its components. I don't know, like, how many of y'all remember, but. Um, I've talked a lot about how I think genre explanations are not very helpful to people. Like, you know, you tell someone, uh, this game's a roguelike, or this game's a deck builder, or this game's a, like an action RPG. It doesn't really tell someone what the game is like. But if you, sell, if you t say, um, tell someone that, hey, this, this game's like a ro like this game has um, permadeath features and it also offers mechanical gameplay like you know similar to slay the spire and it has um you know sub mechanics that include things like this um you know like basically compare it to other games use other games as anchor points to explain that stuff i wonder if my tank is somewhere do you think i could find it it's it's got to be close Dude, you I have had it with you. You have the schematics for a propulsion cannon, laser gun, and flashlight scanner, lots of food and water. You could put on a red suit and explore the crash aurora now. I could. I really just wanted to get the uh the big pod, the big room pod, which I I th I thought was down here. Someone told me it was down here. Is it down here? Like, I still want to get get it if I can. Well, I guess I'll come back there. Huh. <sighs> Boot up Project Zomboid, slap a nice thumbnail, and boom, you have 100k subs. My friend did this. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Like I say, I don't, I don't, and, and this isn't a comment on your friend at all. Um, I don't want to necessarily sell out, meaning I don't want to have to, I don't want to do the content that I know is going to sell out um, disingenuously. I want to find the kind of content that I enjoy doing that also reaches an audience. I know that's a very, very difficult thing to do and sometimes impossible, but I want to try, you know, that's, that's Bimple style right there. Stay on the surface and go south, southwest until you see it will be obvious and easy, safe to explore. Okay, I will try. I'm going to try. I'm sorry. I know all my attention is split. It's because I'm, I'm talking about a few things and, uh, I'm gonna go south southwest. I'm going almost completely south. Stay near and I'm staying near the surface. And I'm smacking fish at high speeds. Made cut tutorial and gained 2k subs. Yeah. Those tutorials were insanely time consuming to make. And I, uh, you know, like I I still want to make more. I just want to figure out an easier or like a bit more streamlined way of making them. It will be obvious. I didn't have to brain him. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I, I lucked out with Caves of Cud because it was, it, it's actually not a super complicated game. Uh, it just looks very dense. And I also had, um, you know, I, I know one of the devs who was able to explain it to my small brain. That looks like something important. That's not important. <laughs> So, 
I lost all my stuff. Did I lose those rubies? Those rubies are gone, right? Man, I'm 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 trying not to be really pissed off about that if I'm being honest. This needs dolphins to make it scary. I'm looking, I'm, I'm really not near the surface, am I? Okay, let's, um, let's follow this. This is south-southwest. the surface of you mean like really like on the surface I thought you meant like the thing closest to the surface <laughs> oh Do I want to explore the land? Probably, huh? <laughs> Community posts are a great way of getting more visibility. Uh, that's a that's not a bad suggestion, Andrino. I guess the the reason I don't do more community posts is because I and I, this is gonna sound really. Um, like dumb maybe but i don't want to bug people <laughs> like i don't want to i don't want to flood their t their timeline with some um bs bs see what i did there because because it's, it's big simple do you get it that's good right do you mean the surface well i i thought that you know I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't you know. I don't know. I don't know what you meant. I don't, I don't know. Do I want to? Do I want these trees? Oh, I'm I'm still really burned up about the fact that I lost like several chunks of stuff. I'm so so many good things are gone. Actually. Oh yeah, I lost the freaking membrane tree as well. Ah! That stupid the one single misclick killed me. Play the pirate game with a couple of friends, pirate bimple, yo, wubba lubba dub dub. Uh have you tried using community posts? Nice idea, Andrino. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Mimesis, I missed your message. That happens sometimes. Can you imagine if there were more people in chat? How many messages I would miss? Like, at a certain point, like, I wouldn't blame anyone in chat if you were like, secretly, I don't want Bimple to become popular. I'm sure, I'm sure that's a thing. Um, and I get it. Because, like, then you have to share Bimple with other people. What a nightmare. Bimple... Who can... Is Bimple really good enough to share? No. Ow! Get out of my face, dude. Stasis rifle? Do I... Do I have that already? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. Um... But, like, if... If I get a little bit more... 
if I got a little bit more popular and then chat is just like flooded with people. Oh my god. What is happening? Stop it. Crap, you are freaking cruising for a bruising right now, dude. I don't want to hear from you or your family. Get out of here. Making life difficult for me. I'll make life difficult for you, meaning I will end it permanently. We want to see you grow. I'm just talking like, you know, bit. Bimple, Bimple is selfish. Bimple knows. Bimple has seen other streamers become popular. And then Bimple has to share those, you know, has to share those people. Like, you, you can't basically, you, you're no longer on a one-to-one -one basis with them ever, you know, anymore. Here's the multi-purpose. Multi Gonna eat all the melons and potatoes and not replant anything? No, I'm not. I know exactly how valuable that stuff is. Yeah. I swear to God, crab, get out of here. If I die to a crab, I'm gonna be cheesed. Did I just get the multi-purpose room? And I and I, I missed it a little bit. Do I not have an indoor grow bed? I have a I don't have the wall planter. There it is. There it is. The ultra glide fins. Did you see something I didn't? <laughs> we want to see you grow. Um, I, I mean, I really appreciate chat right now. Thank you very much. And also, uh, I, I just, uh, I want to be uh, clear, I'm a tan. I, I didn't, I wasn't actually, like, annoyed with you. Like, it's just, I don't, I, I don't want to do purely content that I know is good for the algorithm because that's, that just comes across as disingenuous to me. And I don't, I don't think that's, like, people can tell when you're doing something just to get views. Like, if you saw me tomorrow, like, guys, I'm going to try 10 different flavors of Jello, and I'm going to rate them from F to S tier. You'd know. If I if, if Bimple ever does something like that, um, then then you'll know that he's fed up with 2K uh, sub lifestyle and wants to... Ow! I su I'm so sick of you. I swear to God. Inventory is full. Really? Okay, I'll eat one of these marble melons. Just one. Oh, okay. I'll eat the I'll eat the bubble tree. I have to. Uh, I, I guess these things are gonna decompose before I can actually get them home, right? So I have to. If I want to do anything with them, um, I'm gonna have to build my habitat like really fast I don't I can do that is there anything else here that looks like something of value is over here signal location uploaded to PDA De Degrassi voice log integrating new PDA data I've never seen pictures of walking on land, in, like, for Subnautica, ever. So it is a little bit shocking that there is any land segments in this game. Could you build a, a habitat on land? Seems to me like the thing. Samples can be replanted no matter their rotting status, but eating them is only safe when fresh. Gotcha, thank you. I really appreciate, that's very, very, very helpful. I'm I'm glad that feature is in the game because I don't want to have to deal with oh I got I'm on a timeline now and I gotta get this stuff planted before it completely rots. Okay, so from what I'm getting from chat, um, if chat wants something from me that will help the channel grow, more tutorials, um, and uh, community posts. I can do that. Waitermelon? Nanny. 
why is Bimple gonna die? Why, because I'm gonna jump off of something and, and die? No. Funny how it's um day on the, or night on the surface. I guess it is daytime now. The the day changes to night so suddenly in this game. I could check out that Degassi habitat. Um it's on the way back, kinda. Growing is literally just getting lucky. The more you engage with your audience and potential viewers, the better. And the more unique content, the better, but it's all just luck. Hmm. I think that's, uh, I think that's wise advice, Kev. Uh, Cause like, get the heck out of here, bud. You know, it's like, uh, I, saw, I read a really good tweet the other day that was like, you know, people keep saying don't let success get to your head, but it's just as easy to let uh, failure get to your head. And you know, I wouldn't consider myself necessarily a failure, of course, but like when you're sitting at, um, you know, 2k is a lot of people. That's a lot of people who have like agreed that Bimple is worthwhile. Um, and you know, I appreciate that, but y'all have to know that that's not really enough to sustain you know like if I if I want to um, if I want to turn this into something that pays the bills or at the very least pays um, oh is it this place again oh there's okay there it is Is there anything I want from this? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Can I not get in through here? Okay, I already got most of the stuff I need. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, I get the impression that I really shouldn't mess with this right now. I remember when Markiplier had like 50k views. Watch him just because he had a Nightmare House 2 Let's Play. He got lucky and got big. Simple as that. It's as simple as getting big. B -b big simple. At least my branding is on point. You gotta admit, Bimple's branding is on point. From the comment before he not mad at you, aim at 10. Bimple, don't hate you. I, I was, I'm just, I'm just letting you know that we're, we're okay. Uh, that's it. Um, yeah, I mean, YouTube is a fickle beast. And, like, I see a lot of people who, like, started, uh, a month ago, and they're at, like, you know, 50k subs, and I'm just like, mm, what am I doing wrong? And I know that that's not necessarily the case. You know, that's it's not not a not the case of like you're doing something wrong. It's just that you're you're not maybe hitting that algorithm wave. You're not getting lucky enough, but it still feels bad. It's, it still feels not good. So, you know, Bimple want to feel good. Bimple want to see number go big. Bimple simple man. Big number better. You know. <laughs> Okay, we finally have what we need. And I even have what I need to build it. Can I... Yeah, let's let's do it. Speaking of Markiplier, did you know that he will start his OnlyFans for charity? I did... Wait a minute, what? 
Stop this. That's not correct. There we go. You're not doing anything wrong. It's literally just luck. Some people get lucky and are play their alg algorithm better. Well, I guess that's what I like. Hence, hence the um, impetus of this entire conversation is I, I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, altering my uh, my content just slightly to um, to to make it a bit more algorithm friendly. Okay, moon pool. Vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. We could build that, like, right here. This is actually a really good spot for a vehicle bay, do you think? Okay, post more fan help, fan art. Um, I mean, I, I always appreciate the fan art. I could I could put post the fan art on community posts. There we, there we go. <laughs> we could kill a couple birds with one stone there. Okay, so I have to move this. <laughs> this is exactly in the way now. Oh my god. Alright, this is a problem. Oh, I have one ruby. Okay, that's nice. And I, I have a purple tablet. That's cool. Um, that's how Bimple's comment about Markiplier OnlyFans got lost to time. Um, I saw that he was doing a, a OnlyFans for charity, and I think that's great, honestly. You know, Markiplier seems to be one of the few um, content creators that just, like, seems just universally good. Like, I never hear... I've never heard a single bad thing about the lad. He, he's just a good lad, and he does good all the time. And that sickens me. <laughs> no, I'm um, no, he's just, he's just a, he's, he seems like a, a nice guy, and, and, you know, it's nice to see popular, someone who is popular who really kind of deserves that popularity. I know that's a, maybe a spicy comment, because, like, oh, what are you saying? Are there people who don't deserve popularity? I think that there are people who have a platform that genuinely do not deserve it. I think it's fair to say that, also. I don't like this idea, like, well, what would you do, take, you know, de-platform them? Yeah. I would. <laughs> Give it to me. Bimple deserves a platform. <laughs> you gotta start playing it. Do more, some modded Bethesda or From Software games wacky. I... How do I make a door? How does... How does Bimple make a door? Oh, there it is. Hatch. Oh, I need quartz. Aw, oh, man! I lost my quartz! Man, I gotta go get quartz now, man. <sighs> Hold on. Well, I mean, I was talking to Andrino about doing a uh, modded Fallout. So, you know, that's a possibility for sure. Hey, bot. YouTubers without criminal records are a rarity, it seems. <laughs> yeah, no promises from Bimple's side, honestly. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Vital signs stabilizing. YouTubers, uh, and PewDiePie doesn't deserve it. Uh, I won't say that Pop, uh, PewDiePie doesn't deserve any of it, because, yeah, he does provide a certain level of content that, you know, appeals. I, I get it. Um, but I definitely, definitely when that, tel uh, what was it, T-minus... That that um, company he was having a feud with, uh, uh, some kind of popularity feud with, and he's like, "Oh, su subscribe to PewDiePie." I kind of, I kind of threw up in my pants a little bit. There. 
and people like people I I knew and respected were like, yeah, you got to do it, stick it to the man. I'm like, this does not. PewDiePie is the man at this point. I don't understand why um, he gets a pass exactly. And I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna be like low key peer pressured into subscribing to someone whose content I I don't that doesn't necessarily appeal to me. I'm not throwing shade at PewDiePie. If you like PewDiePie, that's fine. Hey, PewDiePie, punch the screen, you know, whatever. But um, I am saying that the ridiculous popularity is like he has an empire at this point. The the man could buy a fleet. Um, so I'm looking for that giant coral tube. Bimple looking for the giant tube. Because Bimple knows that's where the uh, quartz is. If if y'all know where the tube is, could you direct Bimple? I really wish I could just throw down the beacons. I, I, okay, you know what? I know that I, I complain maybe a lot about this game. Maybe more so than others. Here's, here's, let me, let me trade, okay? Let me, can we, can we do a trade? Um... I don't get to, I don't, I get one thing that I want, um, despite the fact that I don't, I, I'm having a grievance with the interface, the one thing I would really like in this game is to be able to throw beacons down for free. For free. I don't want to have to build a thing, and I don't want to have to go and find the, the blueprints for the beacon. It's my number one annoyance about this game because the thing is is i get lost and i just want to like mark a thing and it's like oh yeah that's where the the quartz is are you okay friend are you stuck you look like uh poo in the in the tree right now everyone here sorry for getting off topic but what would y'all like or think pimples pimples pants are Oxygen. I can tell you about my pants right now. <laughs> and that's the story of how Bimple started an OnlyFans. <laughs> no, 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 I said only pants. You misunderstood me again, chat. I need two titanium. I thought I had the titanium. I have lead. Uh, do I have titanium in my locker? The only reason I'm trying to make this latch is because I stupidly built a locker in the way on this one so I can't get into my own habitat. Re <laughs> this is... Bimple is struggling and uh, Bimple really needs to stop referring to himself in the third person because it's, it's starting to feel a little bit weird, I won't lie. The beacon is literally found in Rex, in the safe shallows. Are you kidding me? Turn the metal salvage into titanium in the life pod. What? I, oh, I thought it just gave me to. Oh, oh. I thought I, 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 it just turned into titanium when I grabbed it. I forgot that it actually takes up a bunch of space in my inventory. Thank you, Kevbo. Oh. I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, frazzled. Let me think is to consider you, who you want to watch you and how to get your stuff in front of them. Relying on passive growth can work, but is chancy, and at best takes a long time. You have, to, uh, yeah, that's fair. So, what kind of content does Bimple want to make? What kind of content does do do y'all enjoy from me? I I feel like the me playing a video game. Um, passively with commentary isn't really good at enough anymore. I think that it's not really cutting the mustard. Maybe it's good for someone. I know that it's, you know, that's... It's okay, but, like, there's plenty of other people suitable for use on land or underwater. Is this... Do I put this underwater? Oh, this is an indoor grow bed. Do I have to go and find an indoor grow bed? might help of what your color pants are I, I I see you're making fan art I appreciate that um, really isn't helped by the system YouTube built sadly yikes forever 
We enjoy you as you are, Bimple. That's not the issue. You got to appeal to the masses. You need to do something that'll grab attention. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be tasting 10 different flavors of Jello tomorrow and rating them from F to S. See that I don't. It's happening now. So this goes outside, not in indoors. So I need to go and find the grow bed. Water filtration. This is what I need. Where do I get aerogel? God damn it. There's always something that I need. Do a video where you say stuff like, you won't believe what happens in Caves of Cud with this mod. Show off a Cud mod. Make the thumbnail with a red circle and arrow on it. I really, um... I feel like that just shouldn't work anymore. The reason I feel that is because, like, there's so many people already doing that. How could it possibly still work? Why do people still click on those? Aren't people bored by that con kind of content at this point? Alright. Well, at least we can start dumping stuff in these lockers. Watch him spontaneously combust in subs after that video. Guys, I'm gonna do try and 10, well the thing is is I'm, I'm keto, so I can't really try t 10 different f flavors of Jello. Oops, didn't see that one coming, oops. Damn, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even sell out on Jello, damn it. <laughs> uh. Foiled. Foiled again. Because there are always new viewers that don't know what came before that that's why people like uh like call me Kevin and Kev do it and, and a many true nerd get one hundred K views. And don't forget Kev Bobo. I keep pressing right, left, and right click it, it, exactly when I shouldn't be, you know? Um, I need titanium so I can finish this. I really, I, I just, I don't, I don't know what it is. The buttons in this game really don't do it for me. <laughs> they just don't do it for me, damn it. Um, I want to deconstruct this thing. The att alternative is to get small but high diehard viewer base like warlocracy or something by doing niche but detailed in-depth wall well edited reviews yeah um i don't i don't have faith in my ability to do to do that i i admire people who are able to uh who, who are able to do that but i i i'm not i'm not eloquent i don't know if like i know my tutorials are okay but it's you know, different kind of process. And also, like I say, those are those were like a lot of work to do, and that's mostly because I had to find the right words. I know it sound maybe it's a, at some point it just sounds like I'm complaining about doing work. Uh, I hope it doesn't seem like that. It's not the, really the case. It's like I want to find the right kind of work that I can sustain without getting burnt out. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a real concern at a certain point. Uh, you know, getting, feeling burnt out is a common thing. Especially when you're just starting out and you're just trying to, like, get things going and, and you don't know how to appeal to that algorithm and, and things are just not going necessarily the way you want them to. Um, and th that's, that's really what leads to burnout. I am no YouTuber. I work for my money. JK, JK. Yo, the shade. I, I, at the very least, I don't want any of this to come across as, like, complaining. 
it's it's really just like I'm I'm you know thinking out loud and and sourcing out a little bit from people who I know actually do enjoy my content. So I guess that's the worst thing I could do because you already enjoy my content. So like, what I need to do is talk to people who don't enjoy my content. Why don't you enjoy my content? Well, it's uh, bad. Oh, okay, all right. Well, uh, appreciate you, bud. Doesn't sound like you're complaining about doing work. Just sounds like you're lacking confidence. Works against you on something like YouTube. Yeah. Bimple's got to eat that jello with confidence. Got to eat that jello, bud. You better eat your, If you don't eat that jello, you're just never going to get the numbers you want. Jello equals numbers. That's the that's a fact. White man being white man being here. How do you know? Video essays, game name, wild world of topic, game name, underrated gem. I tried the underrated gems uh, video and it actually didn't do very well. I was trying to do the whole like spotlight thing, um, which is my version of like, here's a game that I actually really like that I think is underlooked or like undervalued, has not gotten a lot of press, and I'd like to give it more. And, uh, I don't know if those are generally, if those are working very well. Maybe my thumbnails are just not good enough. Um, and there's a whole like thing about the thumbnails and like I don't really, I have, I, I don't know, like I like my thumbnails and I like making thumbnails, but there's a certain technique to making them very appealing to YouTube. Okay guys, um, let me, um, I'm working here, I'm working here. Uh, I want to make a, I kinda, I kinda want, well, what is this? Do I need this? Pumps oxygen from a powered ha habitat to a attached pipe network, oh. Thermal plant, converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. I need aerogel, how do I make aerogel? I need the prawn suit grappling arm. I need to make another oxygen tank because I lost my oxygen tank. Um, Kevbo said that I have all of the things I need to uh, explore the the spaceship. I'm trying to find aerogel on here and it looks like I don't know how to make that yet. You enjoyed that one? Can't be made without rubies? Well, I have one ruby. <laughs> I did that, but that's not enough, I assume. I need two rubies. I had a lot of rubies on me when I died. Um, all right, so let's, let's see if I can't make some of the tools I need to explore the, the ship. Propulsion cannon and stasis rifle. So I need magnetite two. I need a computer chip. I need a computer chip and a wiring kit. Uh, computer chip is table coral, copper, and copper wire. I don't think I have a lot of copper. Oh no, gold and copper wire. Um, and the wiring kit is two silver ore. So I need two table coral. I think I have that. One gold, one copper wire, and two silver. Let's uh, consume that. Vital signs stable. And I have the magnetite necessary. So I need one gold. Uh, I'll grab that copper, but I don't think I'm gonna. I need a silver. I need more than this, which I don't have. 
Um, a lot of Russian speak from Faust. Would really suggest you go to the Aurora. You can find a lot of good stuff there. Just bring a lot of food and water and open inventory space. Okay. Appreciate you. Uh, I think that'll, when I go to the Aurora, that'll mark the end of today's Subnautica. Um, does the, would you, hmm. I don't necessarily want spoilers. I would like to know how to get the indoor planter. Do I not have any copper right now? I swear to God, I'm gonna put this freaking tool away. <laughs> uh, that's gold. Do I not have any copper? Oh my god, this is the third time I looked at that locker. So these are... Okay, I have a, so much gold, no copper. Zero copper. Okay. Um, so I need copper. Uh, I'm gonna go southwest west. This guy is really hanging out here. I want to go back to the tube. Go back to that south southwest island and explore it again. It has indoor planters for your new big room. Oh. Okay, maybe I should do that right now then. And it also has uh, bulbos or whatever they're called. Interesting to me that I can't see that island at all. From here. Yo, that's that's a little unrealistic. I would definitely be able to see that island. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and get the indoor planters. I definitely want the indoor planters. And I'm gonna try and get some copper. A little bit of copper. Wrong way. Um, I appreciate, by the way, all, all of your input on, uh, what to do. And, it, you know, like, it really is just, like, it's a little bit discouraging, um, you know. Like, and I've been in this position a lot, is, like, you know, doing something, and I don't really... I'm not a, I'm not a PR guy, if you couldn't tell. I'm not, I'm not a marketer. I don't know how to market. Um... And so I just kind of like do this, do my thing and throw it out there and see what happens. And then I try and tweak things a little bit. And then uh, see if that works. Does it work? Did it work? Eh. Metroid Prime made it so that scanning in games releases a dopamine hit every time. Aerogel, Habitat Builders, Modification Stations, you want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have the rupees. Rope? Lantern? Oh, sorry. Rope? Oil? Bombs? It's yours, my friend. Oh, there's a rock over there. Is that the place? That doesn't look like the place, if I'm being honest. Am I going the right way? It's south, south, south. It was south, southwest. I think I am going the wrong way. I feel like I'm not going the right way. I'm not feeling good about my direction right now. Do these guys have anything good on them? Silver. You already didn't make it. Most people never get any viewers at all. Not that that's much comfort. No, I get you, and I'm I'm very grateful for that. Make no mistake. 
Gonna make me poop blood by missing the island. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. I'm not seeing it. Hold on a second. Let me line up. Seek fluid intake immediately. I'm gonna go back a bit. Okay. South, southwest, right? This direction? This is why I need the beacon. Let me just check. Yeah, I mean, it's... I should be going in the right direction right now. Most people just record vanilla for some reason. I mean, is that it there and it's just like popping in really badly? That's not right. Oh my god. Guys. I can't be blamed for that one. I'm sorry. I refuse. I refuse to be blamed for that. I'm gonna... fucking... oh, sorry. <laughs> like... This is... Today's been a kind of a frustrating day for Subnautica, I won't lie. It, it's frustrating me. <laughs> what what is the deal with that pop in? I'm gonna I'm gonna die of dehydration, and I just want to get to the stupid bulbos. I swear to God, if I die. I gotta pull out the knife. Okay, okay. I swear to God, when you're going to the southern island, you need to stay on the surface and look for fog. <sighs> Stupid interface. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, you can actually cut the tree down. I didn't know that. Oh, God. Okay. That was definitely the most frustrated I've been with this game, but... Um, well, no, I tell a lie. I really, losing my oxygen tank and then also dying because I accidentally dropped the oxygen tank instead of switching was definitely the most frustrating thing I've that has ever happened in this game. I don't know why people are excited for modded Fallout 4. That game has absolutely the trashiest modding community. Does it? I thought I scanned the the indoor planters. Did I not scan the indoor planters?
as much as I d dislike Fallout 4, the DLCs are fun. And Far Harbor alone is worth the run. Well, Fallout 4 DLCs are on sale right now. Should I pick them up if I'm going to do a Fallout 4 series? I mean, no promises, but, I mean, I haven't played Fallout 4 all the way through. Um, I wouldn't mind. And, uh, apparently it's good for the algorithm. Let's turn all characters into anime girls. I mean, that, that mod exists for every game, period. <laughs> Okay, I, I swear to God I scanned this. There's nothing to scan. It won't let me scan it. I can't scan this thing. Unless you were telling me uh, to go here so that I can go somewhere else. Pretty solid. New Vegas fans love to just crap on every anything Fallout related that Bethesda has touched. Still thinks New Vegas is the best Fallout. DLCs have better storytelling. Yeah, I uh, I was definitely not excited about um, Outer Worlds. It did not compel me. So, am I? Is is the are the outdoor planters on this island, or are they like adjacent to the island? Do I have to go like under underneath it? Also, I carried. I brought all of the, the stuff for making the stuff I need. I'm really good at this game. I won't say uh, I th I liked um, I liked where Other World, um, sorry Outer Worlds was coming from. I enjoyed it for a, a couple of reasons. I did think that it was <clears throat> well written, but it just didn't have enough like like it was well written, but it wasn't compelling in a way that you know like it didn't have enough. Um, stuff to relate with was my problem with it. Cave. There's an abandoned base at the top of the island with a lot of stuff you need to scan. And, okay. Good to know. Thank you. Sorry to just keep asking y'all what to do. Um... But it definitely shortcuts a lot of time of me just wandering around. And as much as I like to discover something on my own, wandering around looking for something that I don't know what I'm looking for, not really my idea of fun. And I don't think it's anyone I, anyone's idea of entertainment, although I'm sure someone enjoys it. I can't wait for Bimple to fall off the cliff! Oh, here he, it's coming up. He's going to fall off a cliff for sure. Here he comes. Any second now. <gasps> New, New Vegas is better than anything, but this is pooped out. Wish I could say that these games are good. I've kind of been thinking about trying the original Fallout games. Because there's like really crazy diehard fans of that them. Yo, guys, you see this mountain? You can climb this mountain. I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Give me the planter. No, I don't want that. What is this? Observatory. It will always be funny that the best post Brotherhood of Steel Fallout was uh, outsourced using reused assets and one year of crunch. New Vegas 3 and 4 all have their ups and downs. New Vegas is the best in terms of actual storytelling, writing, but the physical ge geography, ge geographical world to explore. In New Vegas, it's garbage. <laughs> K. 
Yeah, boy. I got them. I appreciate you, though. Integrating new PDA data. No, I don't want that. Give me the planter. I did get it, right? Uh, exterior grow bed. Indoor grow bed. Composite plant pot. Designer pot containing synthetic soil. Is is this is this what I need? I thought I needed the indoor grow bed. Is this it? Will that help me grow a plant? No, I don't want that. Give me the grow bed. Oh, there's another one over there. Huh. Big MT is amazing. Okay, chat. I'm going to do a poll, okay? Bimple Fallout. If I was going to do a series, which Fallout? Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 4 modded. Um, Fallout 2. Or... Nah, that's it. Ask your community. Pots are smaller, but they can each take a melon potato and they can be placed anywhere in your building. Okay. I want the potato plant. New Vegas easy. 100% New Vegas. I, I do have New Vegas and I have never played it. Ever. Ever. So, this would suit me fine. Add Fallout Dust. Um, I'm gonna say no. And the reason why I'm a 10, it, it, I, I understand why you want me to play that. And I, I, I'm sure I would value it. But let me play New Vegas, like one of these first. Because Fallout Dust, from what you've explained, is it makes it a survival game. And I'm already playing like three or four of those. Um, and that's just, I don't think that's really the, the, the draw, unless, unless it appeals the algorithm. I'm a 10. If you could give me your word that it would appeal the algorithm, algorithm, then, uh, then, then I'll add it to the list for me too, for you, New Vegas. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like shade thrown vid. You're 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 too much of a big simple to play Fallout 2. I'm I'm kidding of course. I understand you will appreciate it more if you played New Vegas first. I I I appreciate that you you, you you're on, we're on the same page here. Um, what happened? Mm. I'm going to eat one of these Chinese potatoes. Ooh, yes, grow bed. Yo! Do I want these lantern trees? They, they seem kind of cool. As in, I would watch too, but New Vegas would be better to watch. Sorry, <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. Don't 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 worry. <laughs> I choose New Vegas to save Bimple money. Uh, eat what? No, I I own all of them. <laughs> I I own every single Fallout. Um, so let me tell you let me tell you a short story. Um, I have tried my very darndest to play literally any Bethesda game. Uh, this includes, 
um, but is not limited to Oblivion, um, Skyrim. You y'all were present for uh, what was it? Daggerfall, um, Fallout Three. I don't think I even tried New Vegas, so it's the only one I maybe have not touched. Uh, Fallout Four, and I always fall off of them. It's the, the, the Bethesda games are just like they're always a miss for me. But you know, it, for the sake of entertainment, of entertaining others, I think that it would work, and I also think that they would make pretty good stream games. Although I don't know, I could just I could just do a series. Um, Z Faust says I'll def go on the Fallout subs and promote the F out of them. Okay, there we go. Fallout Dust takes place 20 years after the main story where a character you played made all the worst decisions ever. That does appeal to me. I'd be down for Fallout Dust. The plant pots are literally more efficient grow beds, FYI. A single lantern fruit can grow an entire tree, FYI. Okay. Um, do I want a lantern fruit, though? Are they, are they useful for anything, or are they just food? How did I miss that? Really, I really am just empty-headed sometimes. I'm just like, dur, 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 a nice island misses the giant observatory thing on top of the mountain. You know, I feel like a lot, in that thing there too, I feel like a lot of gamers would be like, hmm, cool island, there's mountains, what's on top of the mountain? Oh, look at that, I better go check that out. Also, what is that? Do y'all see that? Hanging in the air? That That's fun. What is that? Is that a little bit of... Oh, it's a... <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yo, there's a glitch in the Matrix for sure. Big thing about New Vegas is it's not a Bethesda game, so it might work. Don't listen to the Obsidian fanboys who froth at the mouth. <laughs> listen, there's no need to, to be snarky at someone for liking a game. Aside from New Vegas, Bethesda Fallouts are fine. I, uh, I'm not, uh, personally, I've always, they've always been a miss for me. But that's, you know, not, it's, it has, it's a lot of things, honestly, involved. Potato fruit are good, but the bulbo tree and the mo Oh, I didn't collect a bulbo. I don't have any bulbo, do I? Yeah, I don't have any bulbo. Gotta go get some bulbo. I'm not an Obsidian fanboy, I'm a... Bethesda hater, there's a different. <laughs> you, you like Obsidian. I hate Bethesda. We are not the same. <laughs> uh, once they sold horse armor, they lost their way. Ah, I mean, come on. The horse armor isn't where they lost their way. That was so much. Is there anything cool here? This seems pretty cool. You know this uh, this island kind of reminds me of? Um, kind of reminds me... Where did I come from? Kind of reminds me of the uh, sanctuary that uh, Knuckles has to protect the emerald on. Someone out there is going to hate me for that. <laughs> but it, it really does. Because um, it's not attached to the ground. This island is technically floating. Which it, islands generally don't do. <laughs> and I, I, I can under I see why there's like clearly something attached to the underneath that is uh, making making the uh, island float, it, making it a floaty. But uh, still, oh, inventory full. Okay, I'll drink that. There we go. There we go. Uh, I love Bethesda and Obsidian equally. Obsidian fanboys are just terrible. Mm. Is there is there an argument in chat? Let's let's keep it civil. Ouch. Let's keep it slightly civil. I don't think there's anything wrong with um, necessarily liking a game more than another game. That's just, it, it, it can like it turns into like Pokemon generation fan or um, what do you call it? Generation Wars. Like, you know how there's, like, Millennials versus Boomers? There's Pokemon 
uh, generation wars. You know, it's it's a uh, red gold versus black white, <laughs> which is already a problem. Cool to see this island as Knuckles home protecting the crystal, right? If you could just like go somewhere and find both the um, the bunker from uh, the lot. Remember, guys, remember Lost, the the bunker in Lost on the island. Um, also, uh, yeah, and then you just like find an emerald somewhere. Bethesda games are carried by the free work of modders. Uh, I don't argue that uh, I'm amused when people still trash on Bethesda for Fallout 4 when Obsidian released the absolute dumpster fire. See, for me personally, not to not to like argue with you, Kevbo, but to me, Outer Worlds and Fallout 4 are on par with each other for different reasons. Um, like, I, I bounced off both of them equally and ex equally exactly the same way. Um, I appreciate the humor of Outer Worlds, and it at least has a little bit of a, a layer of irony that I appreciate. Fallout 4, I mean, I just, I really didn't like the main campaign storyline. I found it super disingenuous. And what I mean by that is, like, you start the game and you're like, um, you gotta go find your kid right oh no your kid is lost and then as soon as you start you can explore your town and then disassemble your kid's crib for parts because it's it's an open world sandbox crafty kind of game and I, I just I found that to be really weird and disingenuous um, I really do need this copper me let me drop a couple of titanium whereas on the other hand um when it came to outer worlds uh though i did like the story and i liked the irony and i liked the humor of it i really didn't like the combat and i found the gameplay to be like really kind of meh so for you know different reasons i bounced off both those games pretty equally it's neat first attempt at something like that. Yeah, like, for me, I guess... Be Bethesda has such a mantle grip on, like, this kind of game. I, 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 I would support Outer Worlds purely for its attempt to be something a little bit different. And you gotta, you gotta hand it to it. It's not, ex it's not just, like, a Fallout New Vegas clone. Like, when they were like, oh, Obsidian are doing a new game, and they didn't try to just do New Vegas. They did something a little bit different. Literally sold as an amazing RPG experience. Well, I mean, of course they're gonna, they're not gonna sell it as a mediocre RPG experience. Welcome aboard, Captain. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. You know, they can't, they can't do that. <laughs> they have to sell it to you as an amazing, RPG experience. Sorry, I'm, I'm pressing all of the wrong buttons right now. Uh, it is an amazing RPG, though. It's just a, a subpar FPS. I I don't know. I think this is a lot of this is is uh, very opinion based, and that. Not, I'm not throwing it under a bus or anything like that. I'm not um, devaluing it or, or are you undermining it. I'm just saying, you know, it, it really is up to someone's taste. Did you did you like it? Did you find it amazing? I know some people who did that really liked it. Um, I personally support some someone to try, and I did. The one thing you can say about um, Outer Worlds is it is at least. A genuine attempt like it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel phoned in to me it feels like a miss like uh, like you know they tried and they missed but it doesn't feel like they didn't try and they were just trying to cash in on their name so um, you know for that reason alone I, I think that it was it, it's a pretty good game okay so how do we do this don't press the left click God, the interface. I don't like how in every, like, in, every interaction in Subnautica with an interface has the opportunity to absolutely destroy something. 
Like I could absolutely accidentally click left click and then oh oops, my Chinese potato is gone. That's that's annoying. I don't like that. That that needed a rework if I'm being honest. No matter how you play Outer Worlds or build your character, your only two care story options are to either be a corporate hitman or be a noble hero. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of RPGs, though. That's just a standard black-white moral choice system. You could definitely say that other games have done it better, but that doesn't necessarily make that mean that that is invalid. Uh, F4 also has two... Oh, Fallout 4 has two IMO... Destroy Institute, side with Institute. Fallout 4 is basically three col color endings from <laughs> Mass Effect 3. I feel like um, chat is uh, devolving into a semi-argument. Uh, I, like I said, can we, I, I hope we can, we can keep things pretty civil. Everyone's welcome to, to like a thing more than another thing. Personally, I I like them both fine. <clears throat> I just don't like them. <laughs> so it seems to me fall, uh, chat would like Fallout New Vegas. So if I do a series, I'll do a, a, I'll, I'll do a New Vegas. Obsidian fanboy scream over at New Vegas and Obsidian. So many RPG story options. Well, I mean, does New Vegas have many story options for the ending or for the side missions. I don't personally know. But, like, you know, they had the backing and the, the funding from, from Bethesda for New Vegas, right? So maybe they were able to do more with that. Um, as I understand it, Outer Worlds was a private venture, so it might have been that they couldn't take as many risks. I don't know. You really can't be sure about these things. But I'm just saying I don't, I don't think that it makes it invalid for having a limited moral choice system. And at least it's not just like you can either be evil or good. Or unless, I guess, maybe it could just be that. Stop liking things I don't like. Fanboys refuse to admit that Bethesda did something better than Obsidian. What? what? I mean, it's... I've said this before, but... Um, you know, like, you can have all of the same people working on a successor for a game, and that game can just not be as good. Or you could not like it as much, right? It could be that it took both Bethesda and Obsidian to make Fallout New Vegas. And it's just a circumstance that will never come again. It may be that Bethesda can never make something that resonates with um, someone who liked Fallout New Vegas. It could be that Obsidian never makes a successor that resonates with someone who liked Fallout New Vegas. Both of those things could be true. It, it takes a, a, the perfect storm of people to make something that feels special. And so it's, I don't think it's fair to say that, like, oh, well, Bethesda made a better game. Bethesda is a brand and corporation. There were a lot of people working on that game. And who knows how many people that are part of Obsidian now actually worked on New Vegas? I can't say. And how much did they contribute? No one can really know. It might just be that, you know, it worked out. Um, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm not at liberty to say. Um, so, um, I am trying to make a thing. What am I trying to make? I'm trying to make both the rifle. Oh, we have a spotlight. I kind of want to make the moon pool. Oh, we have an observatory. Enameled glass. It looks. I, I, I guess I'm never making that, huh? Um. Stasis rifle. Okay, I need two magnetite and titanium to make that. Uh, and titanium, so I need to go get the titanium. You're out of your element, Bimple. The nerds are arguing. Well, I appreciate that you include yourself in that. 
Ah. Uh. Shut up, Donnie. You're out of your element. Walk in halfway into a conversation. Add your two cents, it means nothing. Donnie, shut the hell up. Okay, propulsion cannon. Well, okay, let's do the stasis rifle first. Um. What's hap- are, are spoilers happening in chat? I'm not- Eli's ending can color the ending. I, I don't know what's happening anymore. Motivational note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps at Boreal 9. Fought off the arachnid kidney poachers and hijacked a tame star wall. Can someone tell me how to get a bigger tool belt? One more day. Oh my god, these take up a lot of room. Warps gravity pull and push objects. Um, I don't know if the flare is going to be any use to me at all. I guess I should make another oxygen tank too, huh? That's going to require what exactly? Titanium and glass and titanium and, and silver. I have one glass, and I think I have enough quartz to make another glass. So I just need a boatload of titanium. How ironic that I threw away titanium not not mere moments ago. So I'm glad you got that. <laughs> You're out of your element, Donnie. Uh, I'm going to say that Bethesda made Morrowind, and that is better than 90%. Uh, yeah, chat. Bim Bimple's got a tolerance meter for arguing about stuff that doesn't matter. <laughs> and it's... it is shrinking. <laughs> there is no way to get a bigger tool belt inventory. You just gotta fix the Aurora so you don't need the rad suit. Okay. I really... I really do be working with five slots forever. That's pretty miserable, if I'm being honest. Um, I need titanium. I'm gonna go south-southwest again and get find that tube. Uh, I kind of want to make two ex oxygen tanks, but I, I guess I'll just make the one. Yeah. I would fix the Aurora next Thursday, Bimple. It's a big endeavor. Okay. Well, then let me just prepare for that, and then uh, we'll set up for next Thursday. Oh, no. Do I have another battery? I do. Where's is, where is Giant Tube? I always struggle to find Giant Tube. Despite the fact that it is a Giant Tube. I have enough inventory. Okay, let's grab some of this stuff. How about that? That might be enough already. Do I have enough inventory? I don't have enough inventory space for more of that. Dude. So, you say that the beacons are close by. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh, I need two of them. No! Is that the other one? Oh, please. Yo! Flashlight, laser cutter, scanner, lots of food and water, preferably cured fish. You'll need salt. Okay. Sploosh! 360, no air. 
We actually played it all the way. Now I sort of want to see Bimple do a blind run of Planescape Torment. I do have it, and I do in intend to play it at some point. It's on my checklist. It's on my backlog. Some of these games, though, like... <sighs> some of these games would make good series, but I also feel like they simultaneously make for good stream games. Right? Like, I don't... I, I, I'm a little stuck, and I'm already, you know, unsure as to my algorithm. So, I don't know. Probably I should do series. Took me this long to find the beacon. Yeah. Yeah. Get a propulsion can. Uh, we'll try and fix the aurora next. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to make some oxygen tanks. I'm gonna I'm gonna need a expanded one, and I lost I lost it. Beacon. Look at that navigational aid. Maintains and broadcasts in precision. Configurable name. We. Oh boy. Pog Matan. I honestly find older games to be better than new ones. Generally, I just get amused, annoyed when people refuse to see any value in newer games. Um, I definitely I can't play. Like, I I try and um, like appreciate older games, but I I I kind of have a limit, unfortunately. I can't uh, go beyond a certain age. Like, if something is aged badly, it really makes it hard for me to enjoy it. Simple things like interface problems, you know, hint, <laughs> can really make a difference. Um, let me let me cure this fish. Do I have enough? Like, do I have any salt? I definitely understand Kevbo being annoyed at someone or like blind enjoyment of something or blind uh, love or even blind hate of something. But the problem is, how do you know it's blind? How can you know? How can you know? They'll never know. Um, Gary Fish. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this salt. And we're going to cure this fish. At a certain point, um, like, it, it kind of comes across as, like, an accusation of, like, well, you didn't genuinely like that game. Because, or you didn't, you didn't, like, like it for the right reasons. Or you only like it because a certain person is associated with it. And I mean, like, I, you know, I can get why it feels like that. And some, maybe that's true for some people, but... At a certain point, it also, like, I don't know. For me personally, why does, it, why does it even matter why I like the game? Yeah, I don't think it does. Okay, so these are cured. Oh, I need to cure one more. Do I have any more salt? I need more salt. Once you cook those fish, they'll start rotting, so be wary. Oh, no, I'm curing them. Don't worry. I'm going to use... I'm going to eat the... the Vegetables, vegetables for my sustenance. Me and my pals all love it because we just straight up care about the world and comedy more than the combat. The combat in Outer Worlds is dog shit, especially if you spec in psi weapons early, which is what I did. <laughs> I didn't go full melee, which is apparently what you're supposed to do. I, I love that. I definitely am not a huge fan uh, of when a game pigeonholes you into you have to play it a certain way. That's what happened to me in Fallout, or no, sorry, um, Far Cry 3. I desperately tried to enjoy Fall Far Cry 3 because it was, guys, it was Skyrim, but with guns. 
of like, oh, oh boy, people like Skyrim. I mean, I didn't, but Skyrim, it's supposed to be good. Far, it's, it's, it's a, Skyrim with guns? How could you go wrong? Honestly. But it did. It did go wrong. Story is awful as well. World might be good. Teehee Corporation's bad. I feel like I've... I feel like the, the, the argument was dying down and then Bimple just threw a big old can of gasoline on it. How... 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 Uh, what a miserable thing that Bimple did. I just, I guess, uh, alright, well, this, this is gonna work out okay, I guess. Switch. Switch. Plant. Plant. <clears throat> I have more food. Um, could I plant this creep vine seed cluster? Probably not, right? Hold on, oh, I'll look at I'll look at your chat in a second. Hold on a second. Uh, world might be good, but all jokes. Commercial for it literally had the slot machine thing showing off the rolls. Corporate stooge or rebel hero. Ripped off so many stories. Why do you make us fight? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I just wanted to stop. Please. Don't make me don't make me pull out the sad face. Actually, I don't think I have a sad face. There we go. You, d you done did it. Bimple pulled the sad face. Bimple sad face and now. How could you, how could you make Bimple sad face? I can't believe you guys right now. Um, I'm gonna find more titanium and then I'm gonna finish building the things that I need. What was I building anyway? No. <laughs> Ooh, salt. I'm just um I'm grabbing fish and uh salt and I'm I'm prepping for next week's excursion to the Aurora. Oh my god, I want to kill- <laughs> Made Papa Bimpus sad. Bimpus is pretty good. For me it was just annoying. It sounds like an anger topic. Yeah. I don't know how to- I don't know how to end it. Well, it's uh, we'll have to find something equally and even more, um, caustic and annoying for people. Uh, so that- we can we can move on from this. You know how like, uh, in order to to like distract yourself from uh, some kind of pain, you have to find you have to, you know, give yourself some other kind of pain to distract yourself. That's what we got to do. So, uh, chat, how do you feel about Silent Hill? <laughs> Just curious. I just, I just, I want to know how you feel about Silent Hill. Uh, I hope they add foot fungus into anger foot as an enemy. 3D Hotline Miami like. We just don't have lives, so we throw ourselves into these debates. Made by a digital devolver. 
having flip flops that have foot fungus to char charm enemies around like a do sounds like a dope idea. Silent Hill is people. Wait, wrong. <laughs> I get it. How many people have actually seen Soylent Green? <laughs> I feel like it's one of those things that get gets referenced a lot, but like, actually, how many of y'all have watched it? Because like, for everything I've heard about it makes it sound like a very mediocre uh, sci-fi. Mediocre. Yeah, yeah. Dive down from the surface with that sea glide still makes me my guts clench. Why? What's wrong with me diving from the surface? Okay, we've got enough food, I think. Date on a date, it's very meh, but also groundbreaking. Is it though? How is it groundbreaking? Because it had a twist? Okay, so like, thanks to Soylent Green, we got M. Night Shyamalan? Cool. I'm not gonna thank them for that. Bimple's not gonna thank them for that one. Bimple is a blind hater when it comes to Shyamalan. Sorry, Kevbo. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got tons of food and water. We've got the propulsion cannon. We've got the stasis rifle. Um, what else do I need? Because I have thalassophobia. Oh. Oops. Okay, put that on five. We've got the scanner. Sea glide, probably we want the pathfinder on something. Oh, I need batteries. These batteries are not charged. We have one battery. This is charged, this is charged, this is not quite charged. And our spotlight is at 29%, so it probably needs, we need, we need a new battery for sure. I'm also gonna store our mushroom. I'm glad I don't have thalassophobia. That's- that would be brutal. What do you mean my inventory's full? No, it's not. I'm gonna put the flare away. He finally did it. He put the flare away. I can't believe he's done this. Is there anything else I need to make? I think I'm gonna need that copper. How does one make a battery? Actually, I need that, um... Titanium. Did I just put away some titanium? Yes, I did. I'm gonna make the rest of this guy here. There we go. Okay. I appreciate that you can half make something. Um, Alright, what, uh, what do we need to... What was I just trying to make? Oh god, my brain. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, making too many things, if I'm being honest. Um... Hey, wasn't I trying to make a, uh, extra oxygen tank? Yeah, I was, and I didn't make it. I needed a ton of, um, titanium for that. Shoot. I went and I got a bunch of titanium for that, and then I threw it all away, didn't I? On, on crap I didn't need. Mimple is a hater when it comes to Shaman. Sorry, Kevbo. Bro, I hate that hack. <laughs> no, I'm, I, the reason I'm sorry is because I'm a blind hater. Do you see? It was a callback. The town Silent Hill, the movie, was based on right before the government brought up all the land and closed the town to Taurus. Wow. I do need a battery still. Okay, that's what I was trying to make. I need a battery. And I need an oxygen tank. So, I need titanium, and I need... Oh, I just need acid mushrooms. Okay. Acid mushrooms. That sounded spooky. And, uh... Oh, the glass and titanium. Okay, so I just need a couple of acid mushrooms. 
and a bunch of titanium. That's really just it. That's it. So where does where? I keep going southwest, south southwest, because I know there's a ton of resources in this direction, and I also know it pretty well now. Is there something to scan here? Listen, buddy. That, that was a good find. We get some titanium for it. Need some more crap. I need more junk. What is that? Is that an alien thing? Yeah, creature egg. I'm gonna have to figure that out at some point, I'm sure. There we go. Uh, I'd go to a red grass plateau and gather some salt for for water and cured fish. Um, I'm I'm actually good for water and and fish. I've got plenty of water and cured fish. Unless you think I need even more than that. I'm just trying to find some titanium so I can make some oxygen tanks. Okay, there we go. Full. Damn it. Seek fluid intake. All right, we'll grab this. We need to start editing Bimple streams to highlight reels, making a Discord and subreddit, and boom, he's next anti germa. How, do, how does one be anti-Germa? What would anti-Germa be like? Oh, onion ring. I hate onion rings. <laughs> Throws the onion ring away. Get out of here, nasty onion ring. Ugh, can't stand them. There you go. Content. I, I don't know much about Germa. I do know he is very fascinating, though. <laughs> Okay, standard O2 tank. As long as you have some, you should be good when you explore. Okay. Um, I need two glass. I thought I had the glass on me. Oh, did I waste the glass on something stupid? His lovable E clown. Who would hate him? Yeah, he's another. Um, he's another person who's just like a universal good. Like I've never seen anything about him that is like, oh, that's a little bit weird or shady. Um, he just seems like a, a, you know, a universal good. Uh, I need another quartz. Please tell, oh, there's the glass. Never mind. Okay, so I need, I'm sorry, Chad. I've been very all over the place about this. I'm just trying to prepare and, uh, Okay, here we go. Oh, I need four titanium. God damn it. There. Now I have enough. I really want to make a, uh, like, a, a thing that lets me make things. Um, because I, I don't like going in here all the time. Oh, I need to clear some space. God. Inventory management in this game is just, like, damn. What do you mean, inventory full? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What are you trying to say? High capacity. There we go. Because he used to be a TF2 YouTuber's sidekick like a decade ago, and then when that TF2 YouTuber turned out to be a douche, he came out into, came into his own. Okay. I didn't know that about him. Switch, switch, um, and I need to make a battery, and that's basically it. 
I am like fully prepared to go to the Aurora. Do a self scan, okay. Infected. With what? I swear his rise was due to looking and sounding like Scout at first, then he hit his stride being the best circus streamer. Okay, throw those in there. Okay, we're good. Uh, we don't need a fire extinguisher. I don't know why I have that, honestly. Oh, you know what? We could use a couple of these. Can Does that just make another one right away? No, it's going to take time. Monkey, monkey box. No. No. Please. No. My freaking hotkeys all do something bad. Um. Okay, I've got water. I guess I could use a bit more water. Uh, I don't really want to have to deal with that. Um, is there anything else I need, Gibbo? I've got, I've got... Pretty much everything, stasis rifle, propulsion cannon, food, water, an extra couple of batteries, um, radiation suit, whatever. Got myself a pathfinder tool. I guess I could use some food right now. So let me fuel up and then I'll literally close the game. Was that? I don't think I've seen that fish before. Bloober fish. Kind of the part as well, but he literally started out as a star's sidekick, then star turned out to be a total douche. Can I? I can't de deconstruct this thing, right? The fabricator. Oh, you know what? I have food in the other place. Like, I have some potatoes that are just kind of hanging out there. Flashlight, red suit, cured food, water, inventory, space, batteries. Okay. I have some space. I really don't have a lot of space. Okay. All right, we're good. I'm going to I'm going to call it here for um Subnautica. Then Star turned out uh what do you call it? I still won't ever recover from hearing him on NPR talking about the baseball game of clowns versus magicians he set up IRL. Time since last save, two hours. What are you talking about? I just saved. Okay. <laughs> Put your rebreather and sea glide into storage. I won't need the sea glide? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> 